This is Chris 6 News at 6. Lee knows their sting very well, and it's something you don't want to experience, right? Hundreds of Portuguese men of war are actually washing up on our area beaches. They really are, and if you come across one, the best rule of thumb is to give it a very wide berth. As Rashley Portillo reports, even if they're dead, they can deliver an extremely painful sting. These luminescent living balloons are being spotted on Pine Dry Island National Seashore and near Bob Hall Pier. There were like hundreds of them and they were just scattered all along the beach and some of them were floating in the water. These types of organisms often wash up on nearby beaches around this time of year, but especially when strong winds come through the area. It looks a bit like a blue balloon when it first comes in. All of them fade over time in the sun and get lighter in color. They began washing up about a week ago. And there are three different kinds, by the wind sailors, blue buttons, and the Portuguese men of war, which is the only one that can be extremely painful if you're stung. You don't want to touch the wrong one. Even adults will be in, you know, can be in uh, some pretty serious pain if they've been entangled in one. That's why Padre Island National Seashore's William Botts and this mom of five are on full alert. I asked him not to touch it because it kind of had a jellyfish look. And they want to remind children and others it's okay to look, but don't touch. I just left them alone. I don't know. They just look kind of gross. Because that's a smart thing to do. Ashley Portillo, Chris 6 News. Now, the best way to treat a sting is to pour vinegar on it or meat tenderizer or even hot water. And by the way, these aren't true jellyfish, which are single cell animals. These are actually what are called siphonophores. Now, there are colonies of individual organisms that are so integrated with each other that they can't survive by themselves. 